Howdy, folks. Welcome to Rest of Talk, episode 34. Beef, how's it going? Uh, it's going okay, you? Pretty good. We have a first-time guest with us. You may know him as the curator of some things that are awful.com, uh, Rich Lotax Kianka. Is that close enough? Or... I'm sorry, sir. I told him how to pronounce it. Please don't be mad. Look what you did. Hi. Yeah. Ah, oh, God. Three, Damn it. Three, I said, I going on, guy. Fuck. I had to call him right when he was going through that tunnel. That was that was frightening. So, Beas, what what video games are you playing nowadays? Well, I finished The Last of Us recently, and I just don't have time for anything else right now. GTA Five's coming in the mail. It's oh, pretty exciting. That's great. Jesus. Any games you're playing? <laughs> Um, the, what do you call it? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to buy Grand Theft Auto V, but I was thinking of replaying the Max Payne series, honestly. You know, You're I on a, oh, did you get a Rockstar kit going? Play all the games in their canon? Yeah, basically. Yeah. And I was thinking of maybe, like, putting together a big Word document with, like, my thoughts and feelings on the entire series and how I think Max changes a character. That kind that of That would deal. be an epic Tumblr post. I think it would. I like I think. You're overdue for one. I think so, too. Did I hear Epic Tumblr? You did. Oh, is my microphone working now? I'm, those were the magic words, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, I was having technical difficulties before. I don't know what I, was going on, solar flares. We know you're a bit of an audio not-so-great. Yeah, well, I'm in everything not-so-great. You don't need to limit it to audio. Yeah, exactly. How's it going, low tax? I'm okay. How are you? I. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm good. That was the only interview question I had prepared Yeah. for this whole thing. Is what games are you playing, Low Tax? Uh, good ones. Uh, none. Mm. Mm. What bad games are you playing? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Segway. You want the uh, full list or just like an abridged list or? Uh, the full list. We asked our guests to come prepared. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. This is kind of last minute. I'm not going yeah, to use like that as an excuse. If you had to memorize, that would have been good. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Infection, Mr. Ace, Robot Future, Terrorists, uh, 2D first-person shooter, the President Bush Defense Beta Force. Wait, what? Uh, yeah, you, you have to defend President... No, you, you have to uh, kill President Bush, I think. One of the two. Oh. And they're zombies. Um, <laughs> and uh, they're zombies. First person scarecrow arena, first person <laughs> scarecrow puzzle, grand carnage, Halo first person shooter, hero of war, zombie city, uh, the virus sees. I don't know how they're trying to spell that. Uh -huh. I heard that one's excellent. Yeah, and uh, I already did Meat House. Uh, yeah, that's about it right now. Gotcha. So you got you have a full you have a full plate there. Yeah, they You're just keep set. coming. That's, they don't stop making these bad th games, do they? What time period was all that in? Three years ago, mostly. Mm. Nice. Well, let me ask you a question. So, Let's Play has been around, um, I guess, this sub-forum since, like, what, 2007, maybe? It was its own thing? Mm -hmm. yeah. Kick something awful out of the red, I heard. Right. So, why did it take you six years to start posting in it? Because I thought the whole concept of less... Let's play is gay as shit, and I okay. still kind of do, uh -huh. uh, because just going back, you know, the first thing that snaps to my mind was when I was a kid, you know, I didn't have a Nintendo because my parents didn't believe in having a Nintendo. I guess they said, oh, you just play games on. I'm like, yeah, damn right. But <laughs> so instead of that, I would always have to go over to my friend's house and then they wouldn't let me play. They would just show me the games <laughs> while they played. And so I always associated Let's Play with watching somebody else play when you're kind and, of the guy who wants to play. <laughs> it, it's, it's like the video games in a glass case that you can never really touch. Yeah, yeah. And my friends were all assholes. You know, they would just get the games. They're like, no, you can have a turn later. And then later would be like uh, when we graduated college. I see. Oh, I'm, I'm really sorry to have triggered that in you. Oh, no, that's just, I mean, that's just what immediately came to mind. And then I would watch some of them. It'd be like, hey, let's play Super Mario Brothers 2, also known as Doki Doki Panic. And I was thinking, why would you want to watch somebody play a game that's popular that, you know, you can play? 
Well, that's actually that's uh, funny you say that because I do I do like the ones that are like more like fucked up obscure kind of game shit you know or like stuff that you wouldn't want to play so you could kind of laugh at yeah yeah i mean i'll watch those because those are more like they're just incomprehensible and right you haven't seen it before and you haven't been exposed to it and there's like no easy way to get it but if somebody's doing let's uh play grand theft auto 4 right you know it's kind of been done i don't know how much juice we can squeeze from that <laughs> apple now if you put some scarecrows or bush assassination gameplay oh yeah the and they're wizards too by the way, Bush, assass Bush Assassination is the name of my game coming up where you fuck a lot of chicks. I just wanted you to know. Good. I won't tell the Secret Service. They're not working. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. Hey, it's time for uh, Retsu Talk Political Theater, which is a, a regular... Shutdown edition. Absolutely. Yeah, let's open up LF. Absolutely. Let's do it. How has the shutdown affected the workings of SomethingAwful.com? Um, well, our beer is being delayed. Because the beer has to be approved by the state, and the state's not doing the approvals now. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's Times the end are of it. tough. Mm. Absolutely. Real, real tough. When you tweet and ask people to come over to the Something Awful office, like, do people actually come? No, I think they think that I'm kidding. If I were to put it on the forums, then most people would... I think it's a different cross section where people on Twitter just like, uh, this guy just tweets about fart dicks and boners. Right. Uh, yeah, obviously he's giving me directions to a giant hell pit, which our office is. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, isn't your office in the middle of pretty much nowhere? Yeah, well, I wouldn't say nowhere. I mean, we do have a subway. I mean, oh, the, the oh. subway sandwich is not an actual subway mass transit. Right, right. It's like in a little like strip mall kind of thing, right? Uh, we're next to lawyers and some guy who sells aprons and handguns. <laughs> Schmorky. Out, no, out, uh, I don't know what Schmorky sells. Schmorky sells shirts that say, like, I hate myself and want to die. Oh. oh. And, Thanks for bringing me down. And all his Tumblr people buy it. <laughs> he has Tumblr people? Yeah, on butt hugs, which I always call butt thugs, and it drives him crazy. <laughs> What made you decide you needed an office for the internet stuff, like, as opposed to work from home? Because I wanted to get away from my, uh, well, soon-to-be ex-wife. Ah, I see. Oh. That'd do it. Yeah. Don't, don't feel bad. I mean, hey, it's, it's freedom. It's the, no, it, it's I'm, great. It was one of the best moves I made. Absolutely. I mean, how I'm Second only I'm, to uh, turning her into ex-wife. I see. Right. Well, you're next, Lobby. Are you there now at the office? Yeah. Were you waiting there for us for this podcast? No, we just... were trying to get Grand Theft Auto uh, uh, online working. And the and the office has the best internet connection or whatever for that. Well, we just have you know all the Xboxes here, and so Schmorky and I were oh, trying to. Oh, all of the Xboxes. Yeah, all of them in the world. Wow, every single one. Whoa, we have all the Xboxes. Are you there alone, or? I am now because Schmorky didn't want to do this. I said, Schmorky, do you want to? Do the podcast, he goes, uh, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds just like him. It's probably a wise move, honestly, because I... Kind of a career killer. Yeah, this this is really stepping down for you. I'm, I'm sorry. Like, I think it's more of a career thriller. Whoa, really? Oh. I'll, I'll take that as a compliment. Like the MJ song? I'm, I'm a little erect, I gotta tell you. Okay, now it's back to killer. Yep, I thought that'd do it. Thank you. Awesome. Do you, are you going to sleep in the office tonight? Me? And Slobby. Yeah. I'm in the basement. Yeah. My wife My wife is asleep because... Um, Name dropper? She, she's, yeah, she's lazy. All right, let me ask you this, though. What do, what do other people on the SA Dream Team think of Let's Play? Uh, they like... They, um... There's one that they're all a gaga about. What? What? Which one is it? Some Danganronpa. Some uh, that might be it. It's some anime thing that. Oh, it's a System Shock Two. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me. I need to close the paywall. Put no, the paywall don't. Oh wait, does that mean put it up or? Yeah, down? put it up. Yeah, please. Absolutely. It's been a while. It has. It has been. Well, actually, so is I it true that practice. it's just like a light switch you flick on and off? It's like a hyperlink you click. Is it a special chair you sit in? Um, no, you can't sit oh. on a chair in it, on the internet, actually. Oh. But you can mm. click links. Gotcha. Do you sit on a chair to use the internet? Yeah, but it's a normal chair. As normal as you can get for the internet. 
I understand. So, all right, do it, having like a whole site and thing like um, uh, dedicated to making fun of shit on the internet is is it like amazing that you can still there's still like a bottom or no bottom really to how bad shit gets even like a decade and a half later? It's more sad. <laughs> You ever have trouble finding those awful link of the days or whoever it is that does that? No. <laughs> it's just sad. Do you have like a calendar? Do you just type like- three letters in Google and something auto completes that. Oh, there it is. Yeah, you can like yeah. type, you know, uh, fashionable hat, and then the second result will be these big burly bears sticking their dicks in hats, and it'll be like, hat fuck. <laughs> Do you ever consider putting safe search on? No, because that's the beauty of the internet. <laughs> it's unfiltered. It's I mean, unfiltered. just in your spare time. Uh, <laughs> your spare internet time. But at least at least we're safe on YouTube, right? I mean, nothing bad there. No. Yeah. There's no NSFW there. No. I think, you know, there's some there's some really good Let's Players on there, too, that you can watch, you know, and enjoy. Yeah, I, I like the ones that scream a lot and get very scared very easily. I have, those are my favorite. Yeah. They're really good, like that like Mark Appealer. Oh um, yeah. He's a hoot, that guy. H double O T hoot. That's what he is. I saw one video where he had a little space under the spare ca- uh scare cam, so he danced under it. Did a little jig, you know? Because you wanna have fun with Let's Play. You yeah. wanna just like you wanna you wanna be a bit of a character, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well they are characters. Characters are welcome on YouTube. Absolutely. And when I'm seeing a grown man shriek to a digital representation of a seven-year-old Korean girl, man, I know I'm going to be subscribing to him and buying all his shirts for the next seven years. I have a, I have a big stock here if you ever want to borrow one. Borrow? Mar- hell no. <laughs> of Markiplier <laughs> shirts. I think he wore one. Oh. Oh. Does it smell like screams from a grown man? <laughs> It's it it sounds like it strangely like if you listen to the t-shirt up to your ear you hear a very faint yeah it's beautiful that it's like the ocean only terrible well that and, sounds like one of those things that you need to classify in the uh, secure contain protect deal oh god that wiki yeah. I'm all over that fucking thing dude you have to see some of the shit I I've written about there's like all right hold on I'm gonna I'm let you know on what I'm working on okay. Mm-hmm. Imagine like a pair of socks, but like fucking haunted, right? Whoa! I know. Seriously, Far out, man. I know. And how the fuck are you gonna contain and protect that? I yeah, yeah you, you can't. And then you, oh 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 okay okay I got this one. And then you like walk in and then like hey Jim don't put on the socks. And you're like, I know I'm not gonna put on the socks. And then he looks at me like man those are comfortable socks. And then go. Yeah, Jim, you might want to try the socks on. It's like, okay, I'll do it. And then I put some on. It's like, oh, shit, I've been haunted, haven't I? And then, you know, he's got the socks. He's got the haunt of socks on him. Okay, I'm feeling you, but I would prefer it if it were like, oh, geez, I'm getting redacted, aren't I? Oh, yeah, yeah, this is post. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. This This is before you go in and do the wonderful editing that strips out anything interesting from it. Right, no, because if you do a lot of, like, redacted and data expunged and stuff, it makes it more mysterious. Because what, what could they have expunged, you know? Yeah. Why, why did they leave in the guy getting murdered and shit, but who knows what they took out? It's Maybe called how ta- leaving it up to the viewer's imagination. Right, absolutely. And that's the scariest part of modern horror. <laughs> modern, modern internet horror. Yeah, except they do the opposite and they just throw something in your face and it screams. Right, yeah, exactly. And you have to pick up eight notes. That could be a good um, le- uh, scare cam video, though, maybe, is if you if you were to read SCP Wiki and just scream at it. I don't even mean read it out loud. Like, you just sit there with a printout. I could, I could see that happening. What? Huh? You just have huh? to be screaming out redacted. Yeah, there you go. Boom. Or you could have like a funny little thing like the redacted alarm where you push a button on the side and like a little thing comes out and bang. You're fucking redacted. Oh, or if you ban people from your YouTube channel or like comment remove, you say you've been redacted. And that could be like your catchphrase, you know, like bros or. uh Oh, good. So I'll be forever associated with SCP. Yeah, I'm going to ride this train all the way down to hell. 
She might as well. I bet it would actually make a shitload of money on on YouTube. Because <laughs> everything fucking does. I've learned from YouTube more than anything else that people will watch fucking anything. Especially when it comes to Let's Play. Like, it just doesn't matter. Like, you, you can... Any game, just say anything you want over it. You could hardly even just take what we're saying now and put it over Yoshi's Cookie, and boom, you know, instant instant cash flow. Why why aren't we doing this, Beatus? Yeah, play some Sega Genesis GYMs in the background. There you go. Absolutely. I was an SNES kid. To have played that Genesis shit. <laughs> what a fool! Somebody kick this guy. Somebody kick this guy. I I had I had both. Harumph. I uh, also had I had a Turbo Graphics. Oh, you got I, to play Splatterhouse. I did get to. I played it in the arcade when I was younger. The real fucking deal, not so censored Splatterhouse. Yeah, I fucking love that shit. You know they made a new Splatterhouse game. Yeah, it sucked. Yeah, it's a three D beat 'em up. Did you ever play Splatter Splatterhouse Diabetes? I did not know. Do you even know what that is? Or um, sounds delicious. Girl for two, God. Do you know what a video Sorry. game is? That's where you... Y you don't know, do you? you well, Wait. I was... I'll, let's, it, give, let's give well, him a hint. It, Sometimes the, mm -hmm. a button marked B is involved in them. Mm -hmm. and That's we're, usually... We're not talking about B movie, either. No. So you put on a suit, reach up into the the hive... No, that's that's furry. Doing... That's furry dumb. <laughs> oh, and fur dumb. Furindium. Mm -hmm. I, wait, or it could be a brony thing. Do they? Do the bronies dress up as the ponies? Or I forgot. They dress up with uh, their little fedoras, mm. and they shave Traps approximately five hundred. No, no, I'm f I'm familiar with the images because. It, my kids yeah. actually like My Little Pony, and so whenever I see a My Little Pony on the ground, I'm like, oh shit, did a brony break in here? Mm -hmm. Is this like some crazed <laughs> So guy? your kids are bronies. Hey, well, the girls, they're eight and five. Your, your kids are bronies. Yeah, nice. without the B, they're just ronies. <laughs> Galnies. But I actually tried to watch it because every time a brony would get on my case and be like, oh, dude, you have to watch it. The writing is not for children. It's deep. It's it's incredible writing. It's it's wonderful. And I watched it. It's just like the shows from the cartoons from the 80s. It's like, ha, ha, <laughs> So these are the people who come to your office when you invite them over? No, we've never had any bronies over here. Uh -huh. I'm talking about online cyber style conversations. Can we consider cyber this an, op an open invite for the bronies, or? Um, yeah, but a concentration camp will come in the future. Oh, dear. <laughs> um. <laughs> no, somebody in my Let's Play thread did a art uh, version of Schmorky and I as bronies. And oh, I just, so as soon as I saw that, I just made this giant image that just said no. And I replaced it. Put no. I I had fan fiction written about us but i saying i had it because i wrote it but uh no i mean i commissioned it yeah that was about i think the worst one of the worst things we've encountered but yeah being drawn as uh, the my little pony that's that's rough i'm sorry dude yeah it was it was, it was horrifying <laughs> well when you found it something awful it kind of led up to that wait wait wait, wait 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 it happened in your thread yeah on the forums Whoa, why the fuck didn't I get a report That's about that? That's supposed to be some Tumblr shit, son. Oh, shit. I've been slacking off. Huh. Oh, well. That's not that's not the worst thing that's happened to you on the like this this whole internet stuff, right? No. No. Cuz I saw I saw some video where you were surprised in an airport once, like you were landing and I guess like a couple of goons found out where you were going to land and like 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 kind of ambushed you there. Yeah, that was in 99 or something. Wow, you were popular really early wow. then. No, well, no, actually it was 2001, sorry. Oh, okay. Was that flattering or a bit scary? Or... It was awkward. Mm-hmm. Sounds about right. Anybody at least buy you a beer or something? Or... No, they were, they were strange folk. Oh, I'm sorry. Eh. Did they go to the airport specifically to see you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's... 
That's a bit incredible, honestly. Uh, those pre-9-11 days. Oh, that's... Tr- well, yeah, no, 2001, yeah, I guess. Cause you could never. I guess you could never really pull that off now. No. Like, no I- so, Lotex, you're glad 9-11 happened? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's about time those two towers got their comeuppance. They... Well, they were pretty arrogant, honestly. Yeah, look at us. We're so tall looking down on you. Yeah, let's <laughs> knock you a peg or two down, or three, or four. <laughs> Jeez. Most. Is there any sort of patriotic bad games that you could find, maybe, to, like, like protect the Twin Towers or something? We did the one, the Escape from 9-11, Escape from the Twin Towers. Oh, I didn't... Wait, did I see... I did see that one, and it, like, had nothing to do with anything. Yeah, you're in a basement. From, yeah. And it was like... The escape doesn't sound very challenging. No, you have to go through libraries and McDonald's. Uh, that's really about it. Was this game researched? Um, no, it is more of a what-if situation. What if all these things I'm putting in this game actually matched up? Do you think, do you, do you think it prepares you, though, for terrorism at all? Or? It makes you want to commit terrorism. Oh, well, there is that. Well, don't do that. I think you were saying, too, there's, like, a whole trick to finding these bad games, right? Where it's, like, it's got to be good enough that it's a game, but bad enough that it's bad. Well, Help. Yeah, anybody can make, like, a shitty, shitty, unplayable game. It's, it's the same with movies. Like, anybody can make <laughs> an unwatchable, terrible movie. I feel like this is some backwards, like, motivational speech or something. No, but, but there's, like, this special kind where people who are... Act, you can tell when somebody's actually trying to convey some fucked up uh, moon Martian uh, emotion that they heard about, and they're trying to actually convey something and actually do something with it, but they can't because they're just utter idiots. <laughs> and so those are the ones that we actually look for where they're trying to have some sort of story... You know, most of them <laughs> just ripped off from Half Life, and right. they put their own stupid spin on it. But yeah, I mean, I, I can't do just the regular garbage ones where it's just like uh, uh, poke George Bush in the eye with a carrot. Ha ha! Low owned Rufal Dog Twenty Nine. <laughs> Epic fail. IGN gave that a ten, though. Yeah, I, I gave that a ten, even though there's only five stars for rating them. I mm-hmm. added five stars. Right. Well, why wouldn't you? Yeah. Well, that's how I, that's how IGN got there. Ah. You know, by going that extra mile, you know, putting, mile of stars, putting putting in that little elbow grease to really say, you know, hey, we're not going to be a Kotaku or a, you know, video game girl underwear dot com site, you know, which, by the way, is very good. And I own it. Um, you know, we're real, we're going to add some stars here and we're going to be a fucking IGN. Boom. Bang. Cut it. Print. Does Kotaku still hate something awful? I have no idea. I never knew they did to begin with. Did honestly. they originally? Yeah. I heard that they did, but I've never been to their site except to read this one article where this guy was just waxing poetic about how Japan is the most glorious nation in the world for roughly Shut- 7 million <laughs> billion pages. Shut up, really? Yeah, and he just kept on going on and on <laughs> they're, and they're on. Still, they're still about that? Yes. That's like, all they're about. It's like, hey, why don't you come down? Uh, there's hostess bars here. Uh, <laughs> the, all Americans look like superheroes to them. Uh, even if you have a one inch long wang like I do, uh, <laughs> you know, they still, it's all 25 times the normal size of the guys here. I've seen them. You sold me. <laughs> that is, I think that is, though, to be fair, the conversion rate of a one inch long wang to the 25 superheroes or whatever the hell you just said. Well, if we um, use bitcoins, it would be more even. Right, right. Sure. I, but I, I would think, though, at some point, people would have figured out, like, oh, Japan's okay. It's not, you know, the wondrous place. Oh, have you, have you, have you heard of the new thing? It's like anime social justice. <laughs> no, no, this is a thing. It's like anime social justice warriors. It's like if you make fun of people who, like, really get invested in anime and shit, it's like you get called racist now. And it's like kind of like uh, you're oppressing them, or you you have like their uh, checking like their anime privilege. You're being racist towards anime. Yeah. Like okay. Like I I, hit, I probated some guy for uh, saying like Sundere or Hikigamore or some shit in Danganronpa too. Good Thank you. And this guy was like, "Oh, slow beef is so fucking racist, like because he's banning Japanese words on an English forum or whatever," you know. 
it's like a thing though. Like apparently, like it's. I mean, it's not just that one thing. Like apparently, there's guys on Twitter who are like posting about it. You know, it's great. Join up immediately is basically the the gist of what I'm saying. There's Done. so many words and things and ideas that I can't use anymore. I, I can't keep track of all of them. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite internet word? Pants. I'm being nerdy, James Lipton here. Like if um, you know, I, I were to just say I saw a girl down the street. That would be offending somebody, wouldn't it? Um, I almost hung up just now. I'm sorry. Yeah. Hearing that garbage. I'm sorry. Like you the have this fuck, man? because saying like just girl implies that like mm -hmm. what was it cis and yeah cis normative and, and gender and binary. Why don't you check that and, dong privilege, low tech? Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't have the vocab down pat. I just know the words, and the words are bad, and I'm supposed to feel bad. It's uh no I, I understand I have I have a a Wikipedia page yeah for you if you like no I don't basically no uh, you don't I'll like. pass so. okay really so oh well, well, no sounds great yeah no I mean yeah that's I don't know I think that shit's like its own worst enemy it's like you know it's crazy basically that's all I have that's my big that's my big uh, insight. Yeah, as an as an otherkin scaly uh, bear, I just want to let you know that I support your views. I understand <laughs> scaly scaly bear. That's awesome. Yeah, scalies. <laughs> Please don't tell me that's a thing. Uh, uh, I mean, I I can guess what it is, but yeah, furry scaly. Come on. All right. Now, how do you put? I never. Yeah, I don't. I don't even want to finish that thought. Honestly. I'm sorry, diabetes. Were you saying something just now? I was desperately trying to change the subject. Oh, okay. I understand. Lotex, how did you get into making these internet videos? What was your muse? Your inspiration? What drove you to YouTube? Um, I'd like to say those idiots who scream and do the scream uh, videos. You're welcome. You're not one of them. We're not. You haven't dug deep enough. <laughs> God, I hope not. I'd hang up right now. No. Can, just can I? Yeah, go ahead. I was just gonna say, like, I had never heard of PewDiePie before. I had never heard of who else are the other douchebags that do that shit, like uh, um, Markiplier, Mar Markiplier, Markiplier, and Marco Rubio. Yeah. Um, there's like a couple there, others. There's a ton of them, really. Uh, C Nanners is one. C Nanners. Yeah, like S, like S E A. I've actually never watched this stuff. I just see a bunch of. Um, I think I brought this up on a previous, but I saw one guy who was doing a scream, like a screaming let's play of an amnesia Minecraft mod <laughs> where it's like the blocky ass fucking Minecraft graphics, but still, still. Wow. <sighs> that reminds me of a dead milkman song that was probably well before any of your ages. You'll scream to anything. There's a B side. Mm -hmm. hmm. But maybe out there somebody might. Recognize it. I think I'm actually older than you, by the way. How old are you? I'm 35. <laughs> You're not older than me. Oh, uh, damn it. Yeah. I'm, I'm like the oldest. I thought but I was like the oldest. Y'all, I'm going to die before you. <laughs> it's even it's even more. I, I always felt like it was super shameful. I was doing this shit at this age, but you know, I'm 12. Oh, I don't think legally we should be talking to you. Isn't that like the COPA thing or whatever? I don't know. Francis Ford? You know what? Wait, I, the one thing I wanted to tell uh, people listening to this, too, is you're so anti-PewDiePie. This is like, I'm not even like making some stupid, like, you know, uh, Jeff Foxworthy joke or something. But like, when I showed you adults react to PewDiePie, that video like I made a long time ago, you couldn't even get through that. No, because I had not watched it before. And the YouTube PewDiePie thing was a completely new like, I, I had no idea that the screaming man-baby playing horror <laughs> games uh, existed, much less that it was extremely popular. Uh, and is what, just, went, what went through your mind at that moment? Uh, well, first, I couldn't comprehend it. I mean, it, this all took mm -hmm. place like within probably like two seconds. But at first, I couldn't comprehend it, and then I was thinking, maybe this is a joke? And then I was trying to like list <laughs> off all other excuses why this person may be doing it, you know, uh, but when it stuck, you know, when I started to realize that he just keeps doing this over and over and over, I, I resignation kind of hit in. And I was just like, well, that's the worst thing ever. I 
kind of uh, wish for the days before this, but... How long after that did you find out that he is the number one subscribed person on YouTube? Around the same time, but I'm used okay. to finding out that people who uh, have no talent are usually the ones who attract billions and billions of people who also have no talent. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking, he's closing in on um, 14 billion... Morons. Billion, billion subscribers, more than the GDP. Subscribers. Yeah. yeah, subscribers. Um, no, he has, I was trying to see how many videos he has, so I think it's in, like, in the 2000 mark. But, uh, this, this, uh, that other guy, um, that I think the video is gonna come out tomorrow, you know, uh, that we mm -hmm. made fun of, 27,000 videos on YouTube. Really? I'm not, I'm really, no, and that's not, like, a joke or, like, an exaggeration. He actually has that many. How long has he been on YouTube? And also, he has, like, 29 uh, years. Wow. <laughs> He, and he has, like, he really does have, like, four or five different channels, even. So, like, that 27,000 number I got from wherever I saw this is not even, like... He has... This is a real thing. He has a channel called DSP Classics, which are his own videos, mind you. Like, oh, these are the these are the classics from that age-old time of, like, two years ago. Well, you know how people like to listen to classic rock. It's the same thing. Is he? Does he have the Criterion Edition? <laughs> I think I think he must. He also has um, daily vlogs, which let me put you this way: a weekly podcast is a enough fucking work that I I'm coming up to shit with for shit to talk about. That I can't imagine coming up every day with interesting shit that people want to hear you say, especially that guy. So YouTube's been around for what seven years now? Yeah, about. So assuming he's been on YouTube that whole time, twenty-seven thousand divided by seven, so he's done. 3,857 videos per year, which per day would be about 11, 10 to 11 videos every day. And how long are the average length? Um, the average length can be about, maybe about 20 minutes-ish, 20. I've seen longer from him, too. That's about right. Yeah, but they're not short videos. They're not like 5, 10-minute ones. Well, yeah, because you can't cram in, what the fuck is this? What, what the <laughs> fuck? Yeah, you know, that <laughs> yeah, would fit in under two minutes. What if you slow down the audio though? What am I doing here? Yeah, I constantly. don't get it. It's, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> it's like I'm talking to two dark side fills. <laughs> I uh, I I hate that I only picked up on that laugh after I'd recorded my shit, honestly. <laughs> because, but he does that like just randomly, like I don't understand. <laughs> and he does this. I saw this one video. This is so fucked up. He was whining about he's playing Street Fighter Four online, you know. And he, no joke, started playing this kid. He whined about it before the match even fucking started. Like, he picked uh, Hawken, the big fat guy, and the other guy picked Guile. And he's like, that's a fucking counter pick. This guy's watching the stream and cheating. Oh, this is bullshit, man. This is fucking... But they hadn't even fucking started yet. It's like, a, it's almost like, like a challenge. Like, that is the holy grail of whining. Like, before the thing even happened yet. If only I could be like that, man. He's an inspiration. The best mm. whining I ever got out of internet YouTube people, besides the dang gam grong call thing, was mm. uh, when I used to play um, Call of Duty, and they I only played Call of Duty for one reason, and that was the Riot Shield, because <laughs> the Riot Shield was the stupidest, most worthless piece of shit in the game. <laughs> you know, you, you could you yeah. just held it in front of you, and right. if anybody has ever seen anybody use it before, you can just shoot people at the feet. You can mm -hmm. go slightly around them and shoot them. And right. You can't, and you have to hit them twice to kill them with the riot shield. <laughs> so that's all I would pick. And then everybody else, like Smorky, would play with me, and we would all have riot shields. <laughs> and just killing somebody with the riot shield, they would just be, they would go scream like, look at these motherfucking riot shield fucking faggots. <laughs> Always using the most pot, overpowered good, uh, weapon in the game. I'm just like, what are you talking about? Riot <laughs> Shield, really? Yeah, yeah, they they called it the most uh, overpowered weapon in the game. It's a weapon. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, you you can shield bash with it. I think. Yeah, right? yeah, you have to actually sneak up to somebody. So I would use the perks to make it so you couldn't hear my footsteps, and I ran fast. And all I would do is run around the map, beating people to death with a riot shield. <laughs> and you know, because they would all be looking at each other, trying to you know. Oh, that guy has a gun. Let's shoot that guy with a gun. And I'm just running full speed, bash, bash, dead, bash, bash, dead. 
It was like it was like being a rhinoceros in a Call of Duty deathmatch kind of thing, I'd imagine. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. But yeah. that 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 really upset people. <laughs> they get so upset. And then you're rocketed to fame. The worst and least flexible weapon in the game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised, you know, that could be an interesting feature too. It's just there's the people freaking out and oh, I guess they have tons of that already. I'm a terrible internet entrepreneur, I'm sorry. Yeah, I think if you're looking for video footage of wacky things happening in Call of Duty, I think the train has missed the station. <laughs> I don't know. You know, we made fun of one guy. It was this really awkward video where he was trying to pick up a girl in Call of Duty, but, like, also trying to make it like he totally wasn't really doing that, you know? At, like, you know, he's kind of, like, doing these jokes. At one point, he's like, man, so I bet you get verbally raped in here all the time. <laughs> Which Classic is, pickup line. Absolutely, yeah. That was, you know, that's a big, you know, PUA thing. Is the thing. Yeah. The verbal. It's called the verbal rape opener. The e neg. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I thought those were Scientology terms. Oh, e neg. Well, yeah. you can get tested for them, also. But then uh, Ron Hubbard throws you off his boat. Or his uh, DC ten made out of solid gold and dreams. Yeah, yeah. Alien, 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 alien dreams. dreams. Yeah. Alien dreams. Mm. Right. R.I.P. <laughs> I'm just gonna pour a little. Namaste. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Namaste. Elron Paul. I I heard someone fucking say that the other day in real life. Namaste. Yeah. I I was I was touched. Were they in mid yoga pose. <laughs> I think so. no. There was on. It was on the bus. In, it was on a bus in New Jersey. A yoga bus. I knew it. Mm-hmm. In yoga, New Jersey. <laughs> yoga, New Jersey. Absolutely. New Jersey is known mainly for its yoga. <laughs> <laughs> Your governor is all about it. You no, know, I know. He's a fit guy. Yeah. I don't know if you ever saw Chris Christie living out in Missouri or whatever, but he's a, yeah, he's a sexy beast. Yeah. You, get the, you get the news there, right? Yeah. In, in most areas of the United States, we do have access to the national news, mm-hmm. especially those of us with the internet. Right, right. I only get one, uh, one internet site, but mm. it's AOL's homepage. Is it Reddit? Oh. No, no, I don't know what that is. Well, how do you get to your own website? Um, I just kind of have to guess. You know, I use Coffee Cup. Mm. Uh, uh, what you see is what you get, editor, and just kind of hope for the best. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I hear you. Well, that's, that's awesome. Yeah. It's fun to have fun. Uh, sometimes. I think it's fun to have fun. Speaking of fun. Nice. Thank you. Is that is that a good transition there? Yeah, you're learning. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, how did you, how did you get in touch with this Mike Nelson dude? I emailed him. Was he he playing Call of Duty in the same match where you were killing people with the riot shield? (laughs) No. Was he talking over? Oh, damn it. No, I I just sent him an email saying, hey, uh, would you like to do some collaboration? He's like, sure. Oh, that's really cool. That's it? Really? Yeah. I mean, I could try a better story, but. You could have at least negged him or something. You could have asked him if he always got verbally raped by the other people in Mystery Ooh. Science Theater. Jeez. <laughs> that would, you know, work for me. Hey, uh, I'd rather take Joel because he was much more funnier than you, but, like, <laughs> if you're not doing anything, <laughs> there uh, you go. maybe you want to shit up some of the stuff over here with me. Is that, like, the biggest, like, real-life celebrity you've you've dealt with to due to, like, something awful and all that stuff? Uh, Mike. well, the depends on how you weigh Mike Nelson against Suve Bowl. Yeah, the Macho Man Savage called up my dad and threatened to beat him up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I thought that was wasn't well, Ultimate. Well, then now he's dead. So I thought Ultimate Warrior was yeah, the one Ultimate that was Warrior. Mad. Sorry, I get him confused. Oh, that's wait. He really called up your father? Yeah, because we have the same name, and so he thought it was my number. <laughs> what did you do to piss him off? I don't remember, but it was something. It wasn't even an article that I wrote. It was like something Zach wrote. I remember this. It was, um, yeah, because he had this website where it was like, an, I think it was either an awful link of the day or it was like, I remember the article to making fun of his website because it was all like really like super conservative political shit, but also like his ultimate warrior site, like in the same place. So you could see like a shirtless guy like yelling at politics at you in hypertext form, you know? And because he, I think he like threatened to sue you for libel at one point, and it was like there was a back and forth follow up article with like Leonard J. Krabs and all that, and then he was like, um, oh, "I can't deal with this right now. Too many irons in the fire, you know." 
Because yeah. you can imagine the ultimate warrior is very busy in the 21st century. But um, he was playing World of Warcraft. <laughs> He'd be Alliance. I've never, I've never played World of Warcraft. Me neither. I, I had a stint with it for a while. What was that like? That stint. Not good. Could it was you a dark period? Could you go in? The, no, tell me about it. Were you I, a panda bear? No, it was pre panda bear. Oh. Wait, isn't the new thing though the World of Warcraft card game now? That Hearthstone thing? They announced that a while back, didn't they? Or yeah, the last packs maybe. I just so, I don't know. I, I see like Twitter is a, like a flame with this fucking like game or whatever, where like everyone's like, oh, I got a new deck. Oh, I can't wait for I don't know the dragon card to come out. You know. You play. No, I I I, I don't know anything about it. I would like to know more about it because it, it can't be what I think it is, where you're just playing cards against each other. Only without actual cards and online, right? Can you put hats on the cards? I think you probably can. Because I know hats are very You can popular. do that in most games, actually, now. Put hats on cards? If you mm-hmm. can, like, tokenize... Well, hats them. on anything. Hmm. I'll have to look into that. Anything. <gasps> They're good business, though. Zip everything. This is what you do. Your first hat's only one Bitcoin. That's and off And your second's to you. two. Right. Mm-hmm. What's your opinion of Bitcoin slow tax? It's my opinion on Bitcoins. Yeah. Well, they certainly are a thing. I have to put one into something off there to load an article. Yeah, put feed me Bitcoins. Yeah. That's what it's going to say. And you, there's going to, monitors are going to come with a little uh, slot that you can actually shove the Bitcoin in where it uh, turns into ones and zeros and sends it to us. I uh I met a Are you glad tr- you asked me that question? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Can I put a hat on the Bitcoin? Yes. Sold. Bitcoin hats. Sold. What if you put a Bitcoin on a hat? What if you put a hat on a hat on a Bitcoin? Holy shit. Wearing a hat. And oh my god. And it's made out of bacon. What? Yeah. This is the sexiest chat I've ever been in. Make sure Slow Beef never hears word of this. This is Slow Beef's wearing a hat right now. I'm not, though. A jester's hat. Why won't anyone talk to me or acknowledge me? Hi, Slow Beef. How's it going? I hate hey. that guy. Hey. What? So I, I'm great, first of all. I know you're great. He's not. I am, though. I, I'm not disagreeing with you. I am disagreeing with him. Oh, God. Yeah. I, you're doing great. I can't hear what you're. Who the you're in no position of authority. Actually, wait. Neither are you. Oh, well, whatever. You know the new Chucky movie is good. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Is it? Yeah. What is it called? Uh, it's I don't know. Like Chucky Returns. No, it's not that. It's something like that. Didn't they have like seen a Chucky before? Yeah. He had like Bride a, of Chucky. A baby Chucky. Yeah, and he's back. Hat of Chucky. He's back. <laughs> and he's he's crazier than ever. <laughs> Fucking Chucky. He was pretty sane before, but now <laughs> what a, all bets are off. Yeah. What a what a jokester that Chucky is. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, he doesn't make the humorous quips like he did in the eighties where like he'll he'll push somebody down the stairs and say like have a nice fall. Now he'll now he'll just like push somebody down the stairs and say, Fuck you, you dumb cunt bitch. <laughs> That's pretty clever too though. I saw Child's Play too, and he did that back then too, actually. He was like, Get fucked, asshole when he stabs it was like Freddy Krueger, but he couldn't think of funny things to say, so he just cursed. It's juxtaposition. Nobody wants to see a child's doll making such horrible, horrible remarks. It is, well, it, it is that, I guess. But, yeah. But I don't think he, Chucky was ever clever, is the thing. He tried to be. Yeah. This is true. But well, maybe Chucky will get a British reboot and he'll be more clever. Maybe Chucky just needs an E for effort. Yeah, and then like the- with the British reboot, no one will be able to tell when he's actually telling jokes. Right. Yeah, he's so dry. Fucking Brits. Pit, pit, pull death. <laughs> a chav nick me mobile oh you gonna get shiv mate <laughs> gonna get me some bangers you lost me there 
Bangers and mash. I don't know how to speak English. I'm sorry. Mm, I don't speak the language. Just say oi, gov. Oi, gov. There you go. You say in the chip of British Isles came up to you, my son. Is that good? They say my son in some of the crime movies. I think those would be Irish movies. No, no. Wait. Maybe. I don't know. I'm Maybe or oi, governor. <laughs> oi, governor. <laughs> mayhaps. Is that one? They say mayhaps, right? It's like perhaps, maybe. Baby. Yeah, instead of babies, they say, we young toddling. So can you say that? Try saying that. I, uh, we young toddlings? Yeah, no, say it in a British voice, though. Oh. We young toddlings. Yeah, that's good. That's pretty good. And instead of gloves, they say wraps. Why do they say that? Because it, like, wraps around the hand. What do you call a fucking burrito, then? It, they, I don't know. I just know that they call gloves wraps, so say... It's getting too chilly. Me, I, I've i got to put on me wraps. <laughs> Look, it's all on the somethingawful.uk front page. Or, or an uh, sacklopedia, yeah. as it were. Are you, are you not going to do the woman's voice? What woman's voice? Oh, it's getting too cold out here. Wait, me or him? You. Oh, it... Slow me. Uh, what, what woman's... <laughs> all right, uh... I'm lost. Putting on your wraps. Oh, it's getting too cold in here. No, that's just a British Ridley. Is that British Ridley? Yeah, that was British Ridley. <sighs> Fuck. Sorry. Pressing your drink, governor. Like that? Yeah, yeah. I gotta put on me wraps. I gotta put on me wraps? Yeah. I gotta put on me wraps. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I sound like one of the Spice Girls. Again. And they've got... Or a very uptight rap artist. They've one got of those the things. goofiest... Uh... They've got the goofiest, um, shit, what's the word that I'm looking for? Slang for stuff, like mirrors. They call mm -hmm. them hair jams. No, they don't. And I don't even know where that came from. Is that the Cockney rhyming shit? Like, China plate for your friend? Hmm? That's a real That's a real one. Like, you can say, like, if someone's your friend, you call them your chine. And it means, like, China plate, and because it, it rhymes with me, mate. Oh, I, did, I wouldn't know about that. Or like you have a butcher's, you know. This got slanderous like five minutes ago. Or like weenus. Oi. Um, you fire at your desire. <laughs> oh, there. That's one. There you go. Boom. Oi. Bang. That rhymes with penis. You're set. Great. Great. That's, that's actually when I was talking about Chucky before I was referring to myself because I don't think of funny things. I just, I just use pee pee jokes and stuff. Loudly. I'm from Jersey that way. I'm sorry. That's why you're a YouTube hit? Absolutely. That's why we are, pal. Don't bring me in this. Hey, I heard you got partnered recently by a big group. That's all I know about that. Who are you talking to? You. Me? Yeah. Yeah? Didn't you join, like, the same, like, the Yogscast guys or some shit? Yeah, the Maker Game Station something. Gotcha. But I don't know. I, I honestly don't know what they're supposed to be doing for me. They're supposed to be, um, you know how YouTube was like, a, like you'd try to run an ad on your video and YouTube would be like, nah. Yeah. Or, or maybe they would like for like a day and then the next day they'd be like, no. Or maybe a copyright infringe somebody. Nah. Yeah. What the fuck? What did you do to piss off like Google so bad? I don't know. It was there from. Probably started happening in 2002. <laughs> if you look back, you know, there's times that if you would Google something awful, it would come up on the 23rd page. <laughs> How? What would come up first? It would just be articles about, uh, and then Grandmother Jones bit into the cookie, which had a little bit too much salt in it. And she said, wow, that cookie sure tastes like something awful. Now we know not to use that recipe at the VFW anymore. Well, to be fair, the something awful in our word bubble is hyperlinked to your website. Oh, God. Whew. Yeah. You got Google bombed, pal. Yeah, well, I think they found out that it was just, you know, somebody that we pissed off that it skewed the results, and that eventually got fixed, but they're always... Stuff's always fucked up. Now to get back at you, though, if they Google Danganronpa, something awful is the first thing that comes up. 
You're welcome. Woo. You're welcome. Woo. You ever like get to talk to anybody at Google finally, like with that whole deal, or are they just like fuck it, you know? No, like, you don't. Away? They, I never have gotten to speak to somebody whose native language is English. <laughs> <laughs> I know a guy who works at Google, but like for the, for like the nerdy kind of part of it, like the, well, oh, that was kind of stupid. Android um, developer? No, no, no. Uh, oh, uh, no, search engine developer, actually. And, uh, yeah, you know, apparently they have a crazy like interview process. And if you are, in fact, human and amicable, you cannot get the job. Hmm. Or if you, or if you respond in a timely fashion, that's like an instant kind of thing. That's an instant no, no, basically. Boom. Well, then how did that Vince Vaughn and uh, Vince Vaughn movie get greenlit? Are you talking about PewDiePie again? Huh? Oh, Vince Vaughn. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know how that got greenlit. I guess I guess that had something to do with Google. Swingers? The whole thing was a commercial for Google. <laughs> I, didn't, I, I, didn't, I didn't see it. Neither did I. But, I mean, from the ads, I could tell that it was just a giant ad. <laughs> I feel kind of bad for Vince Vaughn. Do you think he'd collab with us? Uh, yeah. Apparently, you just have to send him an email, and he will. No, he probably thinks he's better. I so. don't. I don't know about all that. I mean, he, he might think he is, but let's let's be honest here. We all saw the Psycho remake. I didn't see it. Just sh- we all saw the Psycho remake. We all saw it. Mm-hmm. You might be able to get Will Wheaton. Is he is he like a thing still or? Yeah, he's got he's got like he four shit at conventions. four million Twitter followers or something. And is like is George Takei like the new Will Wheaton but older and gayer and gayer? Yeah. Oh my. Well, okay. That's good. Thank you. That's a good answer. Thank you. Is that? Do you think that's us? Do you think that's you? Do you think like someday you're gonna be like a Will Wheaton kind of guy? Either of you. Why don't you just start talking about hats again? It's fine. Yeah, let's change the subject. All right. Low text, do you want to ask us anything? Yeah, um, okay, so I was walking, I, I was in the mall, okay, and there is like a gnat on my face. Mm-hmm. And there is this uh, hot girl by the um, Orange Julius slash, uh, what is that place that has the uh, pretzels? Annie, Annie something pretzels? Yeah, anti ants. Yeah, and yeah, and so I was going to, I was going to, uh, you know, approach her, but I had this gnat that kept on flying in my face, and so she's in front of me, and she orders something, and then I was going to say, oh, I just ordered the same thing, but then the gnat like flew up my nose, and then so instead, I just started snorting out of my nose repeatedly, and coughing on her, and I pushed her down, and I took her order. And I left I came them up all. with this list of agenda items for a very nice conversation. Yeah, and so and, my question is, know. what should I have done? Oh, honestly, I think you did the right thing. Whew. I'll be able to sleep tonight. Being totally honest with you, bro. You are just such a sycophant. You know goddamn well he had so many chances with that girl that he passed up just through fear, really. Well, what, that happened like a few hours ago? You might hear from her later. Have you tried know. Craigslist misconnections? No, because I, once I started tasting those wonderful um, pretzels, you know, she was way down, you know, I, way down in popularity. I just uh, wanted to go back and get some more pretzels, to be honest. All right, I guess in that case. You yeah, you're kind of fine. fucked then. Yeah. 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 No, I was, all right, yeah. Sorry. What else, what else do you have for us? I don't know. Why did you, how, why did you become such an audiophile? GTA Five. Oh, I'm sorry. That's 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 two different topics. Answer like, both questions at once, please. <laughs> yes. No. Maybe. Uh, uh, I can. I just have uh, ears that can pick up stuff, and I like figuring out how things work, Don't especially when them? it comes to audio. Um, yeah, but to the extent that I've been working on audio stuff for now over 24 years, I'd say. Holy. Ooh, number dropper. Yeah. And it, I, I don't know probably half of the stuff that I need to know, but, you know, it just, it always comes down to when I started doing music stuff a long ass time ago in the 80s, 90s, and 
you know, there wasn't much of a scene here. Nobody could give me hints about mixing and engineering and things like that. There wasn't a big scene in Missouri. Yeah, go figure. You know, I Jesus, I don't believe it. Yeah, well, it, it's true. It's true. Huh. Um, and so I started learning all this stuff so I could teach other people stuff. And same thing with computers. You know, I like learning stuff just so I can teach other people and help them out. Mm-hmm. My voice is cracking. That's okay. Well, you know, that's, that's, you've been talking, well, we're all ready to cry. We've been talking for 58 and a half minutes. Um, what? And counting. And counting. Why won't you watch Harvester? Hmm? Why won't you watch Harvester? You ever heard of Harvester? Played Harvester? I saw it on your thing, but it it just looked like it was pointing and clicking. It's so much more than that. So much more. Just skip ahead. Okay, well, send me a link to one and I'll watch it. Check okay. out this whole lodge thing. It is a hoot. That's great. You always were such a kidder. Oh, God. I'm sorry. Mm. Mm. You'll get that in a few hours. Maybe. Listen, I just... It's okay. Well, you know, I gotta tell you. It, it sounds like it sounds like you, you've successfully completed guesting in your first podcast. Whew. Okay. Did, now that whole internet thing doesn't work out. You got to back up. <laughs> yeah. Are you? Have you been inspired to start your own podcast? No. <laughs> no. No. What do you mean no? Wasn't uh, this just a? Wasn't this just a barrel of laughs? Okay. Well, no. I mean, I didn't have any problem with this. I thought we had decent <laughs> conversations. I'm just saying, <laughs> if it was up to me, I mean, I'd just be making fart sounds for like probably 99 percent of the time. We have intros for our podcast. If you send me the fart sounds, I will. No, I, I would be making the fart sounds. Well, they you can. We can add them in post. I mean, me. this audio isn't final. Ah, okay. All right. Talking about a little post. We can add some reverb, some farts, some Chucky zingers. Is po- is post like a like slang for a drug or something? Yeah, talking about some posts. Imagine wearing every hat. Post production, you goof hag. Oh, you got any compressors, bro? Yeah, I can hook you up. Nice. What nice. are you talking, Opto? You got you got any of that multi band shit? You got some knobs yeah. you can twist if you know what I'm saying. Maybe some like you know. Yeah, uh, you put a hat on it. Yeah. 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 Little... Put, you ever put a hat on that knob? Just squeeze it. Fucking, I'm about equalizers now. Yeah, well, you got to find some good ones for your shit whore bilge machine that you have i'm that's right i just called your p your apple a shit whore bilge machine it's a mac i know an apple which is made apple by a co- an apple apple's a company mac's a computer Pfft, <laughs> loser. what an idiot <laughs> hoisted <laughs> go fuck yourself kayanka hoisted Owned. hoisted is that a thing Hoisted? Yeah. Is that British slang? Yeah, getting hoisted to? by your own petard. Oh. Dip. No, you've heard that. I'm, I'm trying to bring back O Dip for a while. That and Off Fooey. That's my things. What about Hong Kong Fooey? You ever try to bring that back? No. No, I haven't. I mean, it was like a martial arts dog. Oh, you know what? As long as we're. Do you want to talk about the ending to Harvester? Are you talking to Low Tax or me? You. Sure. What do you think of it? Kind of sudden. Yeah, thank you, Lotex. Yeah. yeah. I agree. Lotex speaks for me and my butthole. The thing is that, like, I feel like maybe they had a message to send. Well, maybe it had a message to send, but it did a poor job in communicating that message. Yeah, I feel like they were just trying to cash in on the whole violent video games thing. Really, Do you think maybe I, it was something kind of where, like, the Lodge was very... The pace increased very suddenly, so do you think it was, like, they started running out of time and so oh, were just trying yeah. to cram as much as they could into an ending sequence just to get it all out there? No, they ran, out of, they ran out of budget, yeah. Right, that's kind yeah, of what that's, my impression was. That's not even debate. I, I think that I read that in an interview even somewhere. So you think Harvester was trying to go for some deeper message about violence and how it video games specifically yeah video game violence and its effects on something 
I mean, I'm having trouble even communicating what I think their message might be, because that's how bad of a job it did in um, trying to portray any kind of message, really. I think the bullshit about see. the surprise twist is that there's no real clues to the surprise twist anywhere. You know? Yeah, yeah. Because even trying to rewrite some of the events through the f the frame, the lens of the twist at the end, right? it doesn't make sense to me. Well, yeah, you get the twist, and then a couple minutes later you get credits. Right, pretty much. So there's no time to really absorb anything. It's just like, mm, this is what happened. The end. But even knowing that, like, when watching the game again, it's not even like... The events don't particularly seem geared toward that, you know? Yeah, the build-up isn't what you would expect it to lead up to. Yeah. So, still an interesting experiment, I think, at least. But I do think the time I spent getting invested a bit into what was happening was a, a bit wasted in the end. I felt a little let down. I feel like the thing is, I was trying to kind of, like, tell you, you know, like, you're not going to be satisfied. There is an ending. Yeah, but don't, sure, sure. don't expect anything big, but I don't know. We still got extras to do, I guess. But at we'll least see. we had chess piece coming to life and chess master getting uh, violently, his head getting disemboweled, I suppose. That was the, my favorite part is just when he hits himself in the face with an axe. Yeah. That is just out of nowhere and it's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, Lotax, do you agree with any of that? That's true. I think we're I think we're done yeah. here. Yeah. That sums it up. That's uh we have a we have a way of ending things. Do you know what it is? Oh god. No, of course you don't, because you don't watch any of fucking shit. You bastards. don't watch a podcast. You do when I'm done with it. You guys don't send me traffic. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking retweet your shit twenty four seven. I know what I see the extra seven people a day when you do that. Uh, yeah, try the extra 77. Yeah, they didn't show up. Yeah, oh, well, I, I, I noticed your wallet is probably a little puffier now with all the fucking paychecks Google is sending you. Oh, yeah, I'm rolling in the tens now. Yeah, fuck yes. You're rolling in Danganronpa Avatar money, friend. Hey, yeah, wait a second here. All right. Thanks for coming in on us with on this with us. Sure, I had a fun time. I would like to do it again. Really? Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's just guys talking about shit. I can talk about shit until my farts stop coming out. Honestly, if this were a weekend, I could have gone for another two hours. On talking about the harvester ending with fart sounds in the background? Well, that and I, I have stuff. I have a whole DVD tower over there. Uh, video games and movies that could I could have used. You ever see Eight Mile? Yeah. No, 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 no. no. That's for next time. That's for next time. Don't Sorry. don't actually answer. No. All right. Thank you. Thank you both. Thank you very much, pal. And I'll I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Wink. Huh? <laughs> yeah. All right. Later. Bye.